then um, good afternoon everyone again so uh, i will fill in the gap from the presentation of of Yazak that was about the let me see it again about the segregated and copper solvers but then i will present you a glimpse of the micro benchmarks that's my my talk for tomorrow um but i believe i hope that you find it also interesting First, um, I will do an introduction of what the, the benchmarks, then we'll have an overview of them. Also, then I will go through the grand challenges and the applications of the micro benchmarks, these three categories that we have inside the project, and then that end up with a summary. Um, the developments of the Exaphone project are showcased by the grand challenges, the talk that we have seen from Sergey and Felix, and also from industrial applications. These test cases are designed to push, push the available HPC systems to their limits and showcase the performance gains achieved over the duration of the project. But these are large test cases, then they are not well suited for the continuous assessment of the software components during the, the software development. That's why we have derived some micro benchmarks from them. Um, at least one micro benchmarks has been derived from each application, grand challenge or inducer application. And uh, this micro benchmark captures and highlights the computational bottlenecks of uh, the larger applications at lower computational cost. Um, the micro benchmarks and also some of the industrial application and grand challenges are pushed in the open Open form HPC technical committee repository, and here we have the link. But then after the um, the presentations, we will uh, put these PDFs in the our Exaform website. We will have access to all of this information. So um, we have two sets of benchmarks that have been developed. The micro benchmarks, they use simplified geometries and they have a smaller memory footprint, memory footprint and shorter runtime. They are suitable for the assessment of the software components through the development phase and also for code profiling. The benchmarks are directly derived from the industrial applications and the grand challenges and they use complex uh, geometries and they have a larger memory footprint. However, we have prepared these benchmarks to be able to be run in a relatively short, with a relatively short runtime, then they are, can be suitable for the profiling activities, not for the software assessment, but for the profiling. The name micro benchmark is somewhat misleading as the benchmarks are not designed to be the smallest possible. We have some very small ones, but um, normally they, are they have been developed fit in a compute node, which usually has some dozens compute nodes, uh, compute cores. And we have prepared an overview of the available benchmarks in the Exaform website. We have the link here, exaform.eu benchmarks. And the information that you have find in the uh, website is the same as in this table. We have some three match bank general micro benchmarks that are not related to any grand challenge or industrial application. Uh, Cavity 3D and uh, two versions of the Erkovtak conical diffuser. And then we have for each grand challenge and for each industrial application, the corresponding micro benchmark. For the uh, grand challenge of the airplane, DASA airplane flow, we have the high lift airfoil micro benchmark. From the combustion grand challenge, we have the pizza and daily combustor. From the flux gas turbine industrial application, we have two micro benchmarks, one the laminar diffusion counter flow flame and one turbulent flame, DLR burner. Um, from the TME car, that's used the adjoint optimization, we have the two cylinders in line micro benchmark. From the Aichi Vulcano uh, flow, we have the micro benchmark compressible starting square jet. For the um, profile extrusion 
using non-Newtonian fluid, we have the viscoelastic lead driven cavity, micro benchmark. From the driver with rotating wheels, we have the uh, one single rotating wheel as micro benchmark. And from the offshore wind park, we have a model wind farm as micro benchmark. And you see all these uh, 12 micro benchmarks are already available and we have one grand challenge and three industrial applications also already available uh, for you to download and test in your systems. Then I will go with a bit more details about them. Uh, first, the first grand challenge uh, we had, uh, we have seen the details from in the talk from uh, Felix. And here I have highlighted the uh, high lift airfoil. That's uh, well modeled LAS of three element high lift configuration 30P, 30N. The outers are from upstream CFD. Then this is a two dimensional three element high lift wing configuration. Uh, and in this uh, setup, they use the scale resolving ID, IDDS model. From uh, here, I have reference from that. And it's a compressible flow using the whole pimple foam. The grid is done using a snappy hex mesh. The uh, basis grid has 19 million grid points with polyhedral elements. And they have used the CAHIP, the, the composition method. Ian, you can uh, vary the number of uh, uh, the composition targets that you want. And okay, and again, so here is the link for for this test configuration that you can download and try by yourself. Then for the second grand challenge, we also have seen this talk from Sergey. Um, before, and here I have highlighted the micro benchmark. That's the Pitts and Daily combustor. The authors are uh, Sergei Lesnik and Henrik Ruscher from Wiki. They are based on the experiment carried by uh, Pitts and Daily. It's a well-known tutorial in in open form. There is a well-known tutorial in open form, also Pitts and Daily, but this one we have extended it for for three D. Yeah, and uh, Sergey and Eric has spent a lot of time in this uh, micro benchmark to make it um, fit well with the uh, measurements. And in this test case, the combustion flow is formed at the backward facing step of the shear layer in this that's formed at the backward uh, side of the step. They use the turbulent combustion C foam so far, and the mesh is uh, generated with a uh, block mesh, 200,000 exaggerated elements. And uh, they have used a simple decomposition uh, uh, mechanism with a variable number, number of ranks. Now, so we have seen these micro benchmarks that are related to the grand challenges. Now we have three micro benchmarks that are more general. They are not attached, attached to any of our uh, larger test cases. One is this gravity, uh, cavity 3D. Um, then we have modified this lead driven cavity 3D. So the uh, modifications were done by Sergey and uh, Eric from Wiki again. And you can ask again, uh, why cavity as a micro benchmark for for an HPC focused project? Yeah? But uh, I believe that uh, it has uh, uh, its it value. So the cavity is one of the most basic and popular test cases uh, in open form, and also for the validation of CFD codes in general. And we have uh, also results for scaling that have been uh, done by the colleagues from Chineca. Here is uh, um, a link for that. And it's a very simple laminar flow configuration. 
um, the solver is the ICO form. We have three grid sizes uh, with one, eight, and 64 million exeter elements. And for that, we have used the Scott decomposition method with a variable number of ranks. Another micro benchmark that's not related to a larger test case for Mexaform is the Ecoftac conical diffuser. And um, also, also these uh, benchmarks have been prepared by Sergei Lesnik and Eric Rusche from Wiki. And they are based in the Ecoftac conical diffuser. We have the, you have the links here. And uh, we have so, uh, the good, one of the good points from this test case is that we have experimental data that uh, accompany this, uh, this test case. Um, in, for the, the, why a conical diffuser? The diffuser reduces the flow velocity and increases the fluid pressure without significant pressure loss. That's why uh, the diffusers are used and they are uh, well suited as um, validation test case. We have two versions, a uh, steady state runs version using a simple form and a LAS version using people form. Both use grids use, uh, generated using a, a block mesh. We have uh, different sizes, 3 million, 100 million, and 145 million, all with hexadra elements. And uh, in this test case, we have used the simple decomposition method. Now, going to uh, going through the industrial applications and the corresponding micro benchmarks. So, um, first, the first benchmark related to industrial application is the flux gas turbine, and we have. Um, from from this industrial application, we have two micro benchmarks: the laminar diffusion counterflow flame and the uh, DLR burner. Then, this is the DLR confined jet high pressure combustor industrial application. The authors are Federico Piscaglia and Federico Gioldi al Polimi uh, in Italy. They. Uh, this test case followed the experimental rig investigator at GLR Germany, also used it in the Grand Challenge. Yeah, so that uh, we have seen the presentation today. The difference is that um, here in this uh, industrial application, we use reacting foam and use detailed chemistry to solve the, the combustion and in the C foam solver, the, the turbulent combustion is solved using um, some simpler turbulent combustion models. And this um, industrial application can also use the new GPU chemistry model that has been developed from Polymi that can offload the chemistry computation of the detailed chemistry to GPUs. This code is already available in the OpenFOAM uh, AZ version, and you can download the, the user application here from the HPC technical committee repository and try yourself the, the code and also the test case. Again, the solver is now reacting foam with detailed chemistry. The grid is um, much coarser than the grid that have been used by the Grand Challenge because the, he is in this application. Uh, also using his snappy hex mesh, but with 7 million grid points, and they have used it as a simple decomposition method. And now the two micro benchmarks that are related to the flux gas turbine. One is the laminar diffusion counterflow flame, also from Federico Piscaglia and Federico Gioldi. Here we have laminar combustion, and the experiments are available from the literature for the code validation. And also this uh, test case uses the new GPU chemistry model from Polymi. 
they use the same solver from the industrial application reacting foam with with ethyl chemistry but with laminar flow the grid is uh, generated with block mesh with 4000 etc elements and another micro benchmark so um related to the industrial application of the flows gas turbine is the DLR jet in hot co-flow burner, also from Federico Piscali and Federico Gioldi. Um, now we have a turbulent combustion and the turbulence modeling is, uh, the turbulence is modeled using LAS approach and the experiments are available from the literature also for code validation. Also this, uh, Turbulent combustion case uses the new GPU chemistry model from Polymi. The grids have been generated with block mesh for uh, three size variants, 1 million, 4 million, and 11 million, etc. grid points. And also, so it's also already available. Now we have the second industrial application that's the uh, TME car. This is the unsteady, unsteady primal and adjoint solution around the TME CHR car. The authors are uh, Andreas Stefanos uh, Margetis, Evangelos Apotsis, and Kiriaskos uh, Giano Koglu from uh, National Technical University of Athens. And it's an industrial application of the steady optimization infrastructure of open foam that uses the adjoint method. And these test cases uses the Toyota CHR uh, geometry to, um, to drive the adjoint optimization. Then a uh, very specialized code use it for that simulation, that's the adjoint optimization form. The grid has been uh, prepared with the ANSA software, has uh, 37 million uh, grid points, polyhedra grid points, and they have been uh, decomposed using the Scotch method. Also, this uh, test case is available. Then uh, the Marco benchmark derived from the TME car is this uh, two cylinders in line, also from the same authors from the National Technical University of Athens, but with a much simpler geometric configuration. It's a 2D flow around two equal sized cylinders in tandem. It showcases the memory savings uh, you have when using a lossy compression scheme for computing the sensitivity derivatives for unsteady flows. That's the adjoint method, then again, it, solves, uh, it uses the adjoint optimization pole, uh, form solver with a small grid generated by block mesh with 25,000 extra elements. In this case, they have decomposed the grid with the hierarchical method, only uh, 12 hierarchs because it's very small. Then uh, we have this uh, ASHI industrial application that's a volcano simulation that's current not yet published. Then I will not show um, um, many details about it because I want to focus in the tests that we have available uh, for you to download and test yourselves. And then um, we have this macro benchmark. There's the compressible starting square jet. The authors are Federico Brogi. Simone Binar, Gabriele Boga, Giorgio Amati, Isposti Ongaro, and Matteo Serminara from Cineca and ENGV from Italy. Well, this test case deals with the high speed injection of a warm gas into a static atmosphere, like in a volcano. We can see here um, the jet in red and blue, that's the velocity magnitude. And we also seen here, can we see here, the, the gray lines are the pressure fluctuations. Um, this jet flow is unsteady and compressible. And um, we use the whole people foam solver for that. 
the grid is a simple grid using block mesh with two million etc elements and this grid has been decomposed using the scotch method using a variable number of ranks this is also already uh, available this uh, arco benchmark then we will have the in this application that's the profile ext uh, extrusion that uh, is currently not published uh, not published yet but this profile extrusion deals with the extrusion of a uh, polymer flow using a, a a profile like that we have to prepare plastic pieces but then derived from that we have the viscoelastic lead driven, lead -driven cavity marco benchmark the authors are Bruno Martins and Miguel Nobrega from the University of Minho in Portugal. Um, in this case, we have isothermal and incompressible 2D flow of a viscoelastic fluid. Um, for this test case, we use the viscoelastic fluid foam solver from from extend, and uh, we have also three grid sizes generated by uh, grid me block mesh 1 million 4 million and 16 million etc elements and they have been decomposed using, using the scotch method now we have here another industrial application that's the driver with rotation wheels that's open closed cooling driver variant with rotating wheel rotating mesh the authors are uh, charlie's mocket Hendrik Hetman and Felix Kramer from Upstream CFD. We have seen in the presentation before, Felix has already shown some details about it. Uh, it's a typical industrial application using the arbitrary mesh interface, the ACME, for rotating wheels in open form. Um, it uses the driver version introduced by Ford. The solver is a people form, incompressible flow. The grid is uh, has been done using the snappy hex mesh with 338 million grid elements, polyhedral grid elements, and have been decomposed using the CAHIP method. Um, again, so this uh, this test case is already has already been published. This uh, industrial application and derived from this industrial application, we have the uh, isolated rotating wheel using mesh rotation from uh, Hendrik Hetman and Felix Kramer from Upstream CFD. Um, this is a micro benchmark of this arbitrary mesh interface, the ACME, for rotating wheels in open form. Um, and it deals with the front left wheel of the, this driver test case. In this case, we are, as it is derived from the uh, driver with rotation, we also use the same solver, pimple foam. The grid is smaller, also generated within the snappy hex mesh with 20 million uh, grid elements, polyhedral grid elements, and they have been decomposed with the CAHIP decomposition method. Now the last industrial application is the offshore wind park. That's also current, not published yet, but we have already the uh, model wind farm. Uh, the authors are myself, Flavio Galeazzo, and Andreas Hoop from HLRS. Sorry, just a second. And this macro benchmark deals with the high fidelity simulation of wind turbine wakes and wind farms flows with uh, using LAS. Um, for that, um, it implements the actuator, uh, it uses the actuator disk model um from open form uh, and compare it with wind tunnel experimental data and also uses the um, turbulence uh, the synthetic turbulent turbulence inlet um, model from open form in this case the solver is the people foam in compressible flow the grid is a, a simple block mesh grid with eight million etc elements and the decomposition method uses the Scott variant with a variable number of ranks. Now I'm um, I'm 
summarize what we have seen in this presentation, we have seen that the Exaphone partners have prepared different test cases, grand challenges in those applications and Marco benchmarks that are used to showcase the developments of the project. Each grand challenge or industrial application is accompanied by at least one micro benchmark. And we have already published and available one grand challenge, three industrial applications, and 12 micro benchmarks. Again, if you want to see this, um, a list of these uh, uh, test cases that we have available, you can go to the Exaform website, exaform.eu slash benchmarks. Thank you for your attention, and uh, I will open now for questions. Do you have any questions? Let me see here. Questions are if you have some uh, remarks or is personal experience. I hear in the chat. So the only test case with our moving body is the rotating wheel case. Um, yeah, so these two, or with a moving body, we have the micro, we have the industrial application with uh, rotating wheels, with the four rotating wheels, and we have the micro benchmark, that's one of the rotating wheels. But yes, so with, with moving mesh, it's the these two test cases that we have developed in the Exaphone project. Let me see if I have the dynamic list. I'm just opening the list to see if anyone has raised his hand, his or her hand. Okay. Um, maybe I can show then quickly the website. Um, here is the Exaphone website. And if you go to the dissemination, you will find this benchmarks page. And in the benchmarks, we have um, the list for the, for example, these general micro benchmarks, and then the ones that are related to the grand challenges, also the grand challenges uh, themselves, and from in the industrial applications, uh, the respective micro benchmarks. <clears throat> 